My background is public transport, museums, and art. Odd. It's unusual. I am in Moscow, which is the most amazing fusion of public transport, culture, and art in the world. London can only stare and hope to be as good. Although some things we do okay with. <laughs> we have a program called Art on the Underground. Uh, it is in its early days. Uh, the organization is not very interested in art, but there are a few things that we do. Public screenings at massive stations for film events, which is becoming quite popular. There is a huge station at Canary Wharf, which is our new financial district. There is a public behavior program, which is encouraging people to be nice and kind to one another. You must make your mind up whether you think this can work or not. We have various celebrations of our use of our symbol, which is world famous, and a hundred artists were asked to do a hundred different interpretations of that symbol, and some of that you can see here, which is displayed at one station. Uh, we have public sculpture. This is by a Norwegian artist uh, at the new King's Cross uh, and St. Pancras uh, tube station which uh, you, again, you might love it or hate it, but it is very much something that the art community love, but do the public. Then we have uh, new permanent art for stations that are going to be built in the future. And again, some of them are quite exciting and maybe some aren't. And it's one of the fusions, one of the difficulties between working with engineers, architects, and operators to make sure that what they actually do lasts and is good value for money in very difficult public uh, financial times. We also have at sensitive locations, this station is not far from Buckingham Palace, where there is a new station entrance and you can't see it terribly well on the screen. I do apologize, my, my uh, IT skills are very poor, but the, uh, there is um, engraved in the sandstone um, of, the, of the wall uh, of various drawings and uh, um, uh, phrases which are appertaining to that station. And uh, if I take forward the whole idea of uh, the tube map, um, which I did bring some to Moscow, um, that's all I could bring because we are extremely poor as an organization and can bring no gifts. Um, uh, but what we do is we employ artists uh, to do tube covers for our tube map. And every now and again, every few months, there is a new map released to the public. Then we have performance art. Occasionally, the operators hate it, but uh, occasionally there is performance art. Then there is one station which has a permanent but rotating art gallery. Uh, different artists come and do things uh, on uh, the walls of a disused platform of the operating station, so the public cannot actually touch it or get near it, but they can certainly see it. Then we have a very interesting public art project which takes, an artist has taken the idea of drawing lots and lots of staff, uh, underground staff, and putting it on building hoardings surrounding building sites by tube stations, which has been a surprisingly popular campaign because it is democratic and it also engages staff. Painted trains, uh, not a new idea, it happens all over the world, but that is uh, just something else that we do. And please note how tube trains can be very small indeed uh, for historical reasons. Um, we are, by the way, uh, the oldest underground system in the world, uh, and a lot of the problems that we have come from the system being so old. 
We also have licensed music, so entertainers can come and stand on a little preordained uh, pre space, and that space they can do anything they like, provided they have passed by the whole of the uh, underground, if you like, art uh, establishment to make sure their songs are not offensive. And finally, we have another project which is all about um, filling spare advertising space on stations. And it is quite popular. This is something that I enjoy organizing and running, but it is quite a minor program, but it's quite interesting. And also, by the way, we sell all this as well to the public, so it has commercial benefit. So, the big idea. I have been very struck by arguments this particular two days uh, on the issue of entertainment and the whole discussion whether entertainment and culture are two separate things or not. At least that's my interpretation. My argument is very firmly that entertainment is enjoyment and culture is enjoyment and entertainment is enjoyment and it's just all fine. The big idea is this. Andy Warhol said famously that every person has their 10 minutes of fame. I hope I've got that correct. It's very nearly the case. I want, in the future, as a big idea, every person to have the opportunity to have their 10 minutes of fame on the public transport system by coming dressed up as something absolutely amazing being in a showcase on a station or going round and round on the system and their prize for this is to go on the front of the tube map for their 10 minutes of fame. A small idea, hopefully a cheap idea, but my goodness it will hopefully engage the public in a very exciting way. That is my big idea. Thank you.